Hello Clippers fans, and this truly is the Clash of the Titans. The state championship quarterfinal between the Newbyport Clippers and the Pembroke Titans. Both of these teams have 20-0 for the season, with the Titans scoring 82 goals in their 20 games and conceding 8. They're the number one ranked team in Massachusetts and hot favourites going into this game. But you can't underestimate the Clippers with 20 straight victories themselves and they line up with the same starting 11 as defeated Norwell 2-1 in the last 16. It was a foul day in Pembroke with rain teeming down and Rosa showed straight from the kickoff that this was not going to be a day for the faint-hearted as he rose to head the ball and clattered into the Pembroke defender who had to be helped off the field. So 10 seconds in and they had to make an early substitution. It was a cagey opening, both teams feeling each other out. Here, Newbyport, with one of their trademark free kicks, forced the game's first corner on two minutes. Pembroke were a pretty tall team, as were Newbyport, and so it was going to be key to defend well from set plays, and the first one was cleared away by Pembroke. Pembroke had some very skillful midfielders and quick attackers, and they were quickly on the front foot, and here in the fifth minute, they started testing the Newbyport defence. Every time they went forward, Newbyport got the tackles in, made it very difficult. But eventually, they got through on the right-hand side and had the first shot at a game, which went wide of Owen Tank's goal. Zach Rosa was having an influential start to the game and coming in for some rough treatment. Here, he forced a corner on the right-hand side. And then a few minutes later, he picked the ball up off a throw-in and got clattered by the uh, number 11 from Pembroke and unfortunately landed very heavily on his shoulder. So Rosa had to be replaced by Grady Connolly. So both sides losing a player early on. From the resulting free kick, O'Brien crossed it to the back post and the keeper tipped it away just before Acton could get on the end of it. It was a really fantastic atmosphere and the game was starting to open up. And here as O'Brien tried to clear the ball, it was charged down and Pembroke were on their bike down the right wing. And some nice passing inside led to a ball to the far post. Connolly got back and defended really well against the danger man number 11 and got a good challenge in and then Tank came out and cleared the danger. But Pembroke starting to really ask questions of the Newbyport defence and there was a bit of confusion there between Cotter and Tank and eventually the ball comes to the far side. It's controlled by the striker who lays it back and eventually a, a shot comes in but it's easily dealt with by Owen Tank. The Pembroke starting to get on top and the home crowd really getting behind them. They had a really dangerous player in Ethan Sullivan in the midfield, number 10, and Luke O'Brien was keeping a close eye on him, in this case, a little too close. Pembroke were getting on top a little bit in the first half here. They had long throws into the box, a bit of head tennis on the edge of the, on the, edge of the area. The Newbyport defenders blocking every shot that comes in. Really strong defense from the Newbyport players here. And eventually the right winger Nips past the uh, defender, crosses it in, and Owen Tank gleefully clutches the ball as the cross is too close to the goalkeeper. But they're starting to get ahead now, especially on the right-hand side. They've got good pace and really good skills on the ball. So Pembroke play the ball inside, and the ball ends up here with number 10 bursting through the middle. But look at that tackle from McDermott. Captain McDermott making a wonderful challenge there. Newbyport in the 22nd minute. Started pushing forward at the left-hand side. Great play here from Twitchell. And he backheels it through to the marauding Acton, who tries to square the ball into the middle to Forest Hay. The defender clears it away before he can get there. And now in the 23rd minute, the game's really opening up, and a great run out of midfield from Pembroke led to a shot on the edge of the box, which struck Cotter, and the referee had judged that to be handball on the edge of the box in a dangerous position. And midfielder Sullivan stepped up, took the kick over the wall. Tank made the save, but the ball squirmed away. And defender Jack Dupere, the sophomore, scored his first goal of the season by snapping up the rebound. Good instincts from the defender there to get in there and score the goal to give Pembroke the lead. The crowd went crazy and the celebrations were jubilant as Pembroke took an early lead in this game on 23 minutes. Pembroke won, Newbyport nil. This is going to be a tough task now for Newport against the number one seeds. And now they have the tails up and Sullivan made another great run and his left foot shot went just over the crossbar. But Newport needed to weather this storm 
and they brought Gasparo on in midfield and moved Forrest over to the right. And here's some nice work from Acton and Twitchell put Forrest Hay on the ball and his ball to the back post almost found Jamie Brooks rushing through. Newport starting to get more of a foothold in the game and the midfield starting to win their battle with Acton and Gasparo and Bovey in particular really strong. And here's a breakaway chance for Newport but Bovey overruns the ball and gives away a free kick. In this passage of play, you can see how strong the midfield of Newbyport was playing. Acton playing in Gasparo, swings the ball across to Cotter. He tries to put Forrest Hay away, and the ball ends up back in the midfield. And Gasparo comes across again, wins the ball back. Bovey plays it into Acton, and he finds Brooks, and it's cleared away again. But here come Newbyport again, Acton winning the ball again, finding Cotter. Newbyport now starting to really dominate in that midfield area. With freshman Gasparo and Acton in particular, really impressive. And here, Gasparo gets fouled in the 37th minute, and it gives Newbyport a chance for a free kick. Up steps Luke O'Brien with his incredible delivery from the right hand side. The defender misses the header and twitchels at the back post, and he equalises for Newbyport. His record breaking 20th goal for Caelan Twitchell. Look at this delivery from Luke O'Brien. Fantastic ball to the back post. Defender can't deal with it. And Twitchell, again, right place at the right time with a perfect header into the far corner. And Newbyport are back in it. And they really have started to dominate these last five minutes of the first half. And that goal has given them a lot of confidence. Here we go again with the midfield. Gasparo and Acton winning the ball. Playing it to Forest Hay. Forest Hay inside here to Bovey. But uh, this time the move breaks down. And uh, as, as Pembroke try and attack, another fantastic tackle by Newport. But Pembroke had some skillful players, and they continue to push forward and threaten. Newport now really scrapping away, winning the balls, not letting Pembroke have a second to spare on the, on, the, on the ball. And there's a good tackle from Ben Cotter to stop that attack. And now in the last seconds of the half, more good play from Twitchell on the ball up, finds Forrest Hay. And he looks up for Bovey, and Bovey's there at the back post, but just couldn't get on the end of the pass. But as the half came to a close, Newbyport were actually the dominant team, having weathered the storm from Pembroke and come back stronger themselves. The second half was going to be really interesting. Newbyport seemed to have got themselves into a really strong position at the end of the first half. And so here they go, right at the beginning of the second half. Though Brian with a big ball forward, Forest Hay tries to get on the end of it, and Newbyport win the ball back through Gasparo, plays it down the line to Forest Hay again. Cross comes in, it's cleared away. And then there's a, a foul here on uh, Sean Gasparo as he gets down the line. Gives Newbyport a free kick in a very dangerous position. Colwell steps up with a ball into the middle and the keeper clears it away. But Pembroke are a little bit panicked, not really sure what to do with this Newbyport onslaught. And ball back in again from O'Brien, but doesn't trouble the keeper. Now here on the 45th minute, and more great work from Acton, and Brooks is away, down the left. He's got two men for company, and he wins the ball back really well. And again, the physicality of Newport just really hard for Pembroke. Acton winning every ball now, plays the ball into uh, Luke O'Brien. Nice ball to Gasparo. He plays in Forest Hay now on the, uh, on the right-hand side. Good cross in, comes out to Bovey, and he strikes it. Oh! Fantastic shot from Bowie and a really good save from the goalkeeper. Shades of his goal against Old Rochester there, but this time the keeper was up to it. But again, Newbyport winning every loose ball now. Here's a good ball from Brooks into Bowie again. He attacks down the left. Gets tackled. Ball comes out to Gasparo. Again, plays it inside to outside to Acton. Good ball into the box. Twitchell's waiting. It's headed away and Brooks comes in for a shot, but it's cleared away by Pembroke. But at this point, it's one-way traffic. It's all Newbyport, but uh, really keeping hold of the ball really well, knocking it about, playing some really nice stuff. And they've got really good momentum. There goes Bovey again into Gasparo. And Forest Hay picks up the ball, and he looks for the onrushing Brooks, who's got in behind the defence. Plays a great ball, but Brooks couldn't quite get in the end of it. Pembroke definitely rocking here and struggling to uh, deal with the pressure. Good throw here from uh, Cotter. The ball comes out to Acton, and he forces another corner. Nearly the first 10 minutes of the second half was all new report. They just couldn't quite find the final finish to get themselves ahead in the game. 
So now it's Pembroke weathering the storm. But they do have the players who can hit us on the hit, hit Newbyport on the break. And a little mistake from McDermott there. And he gets penalised for pulling back the striker from uh, Pembroke. And he gets a yellow card for his trouble. He has to go and take a couple of minutes break. But Newbyport winning every tackle now. Here goes Rosa, who's back on despite his injury, showing great bravery. Gets down the right, gets the crossover, but it's cleared away by Pembroke. Only as far as Gasparo, who gets fouled, right in, on about 25 yards out, giving Newbyport a chance for a free kick. And Forrest Hay steps up, whips it over the wall, but the keeper is in the right place to parry down the shot. But still, all Newbyport, here goes Luke O'Brien in the 57th minute, but this time the delivery wasn't, wasn't his best. And there's a break for Pembroke. A great ball into the channel. Really good control by number 11. And he goes off down the right-hand side. He was really quick. And it's tough to stop him. McDermott's tracking him. But he gets to the byline. And puts in a really dangerous cross. And Tank does really well to grab the ball. And make a good save. A really open game now. Really entertaining. The crowd really engaged. Koya's on the field here. Great ball down the left to Twitchell. Twitchell does really well. Nutmegs the defender, gets past him. Tries to get the cross into the area and it's cleared for another corner. Newport with real momentum about halfway through the first half. The corner came in, it was very well headed away by the defender as Forrest Hay came in to try and, try and score with the header. And then from the other side, another great cross to the back post. Bovey was there, but the ball was hacked away by Pembroke. And all of Pembroke's nice play from the first half now, they're just hitting it long and hoping for a breakaway. And this here's Acton again, cleaning up in midfield, finding Brooks. Brooks puts a left-footed cross into the back post. It's headed away, it comes out to Gasparo, who on the half volley strikes it at goal. That one just wide. The freshman was having an incredible game. And here you can see it's getting very physical in there. And number nine flies into a tackle on Sean Gasparo and gets a yellow card for his trouble there. It was very late, and Gasparo got caught right on the ankle. It gave Newport another chance for, to launch a free kick into the box. And O'Brien doesn't need asking twice. Great ball into the area. Forrest Hay gets the flick on, and Twitchell was coming in just behind. He couldn't quite get his foot on the ball. But Pembroke just not dealing with the physical strength of Newport in the second half. And here Forrest Hay is fouled again, and from the resulting free kick, Unfortunately, the shot goes wide. So despite all the pressure, Newbyport not being able to get that goal. And Pembroke still a threat on the break. Here they are. It's a nice passing play. Good ball over the top. And Tank comes out to make the save at the second attempt. So with 17 minutes to go, this game could really go either way. Newbyport have the momentum, but Pembroke still really threatening on the break. And here they go again. Nice ball down the right-hand side. Pembroke pushing forward to try and get get the goal to win the game. But as you can see, Newport midfielders winning the ball, making it really difficult, and a big tackle from Colwell. And then a second one, and he gets his ankle trodden on there, unfortunately, and the shot goes way wide. Incredible defending by Newport, but unfortunately, the influential Colwell had to limp off with a nasty-looking ankle injury. So that meant that Newport had to reshuffle the pack a little bit and move Jamie Brooks back into defence on the left-hand side. But they continue to push forward. Great work here from Twitchell. And he's brought down in a dangerous position on the right-hand side. About 15 minutes to go now. Now the ball comes swinging in, headed away by the uh, Pembroke defence. The rain had returned. And the conditions were really torrid. Uh, but the game was really entertaining. And the crowd were really excited. And here go Pembroke now, breaking out of defence. Again, nice passing movement. Ball into the channel. And here goes number 11. There's a lightning down the right-hand side. Good cross in, and Tank tips the ball over the, over the bar. So 13 minutes to go now. Pembroke put the ball into the box. It goes right across the goal. But again, great defending here. And eventually, Zach Rosa clears the ball away for Newbyport. But Pembroke having a better spell. Long throws coming in. And on the left-hand side, the ball was crossed in. And it looked, and Tank punched the ball away. And Newbyport scrambling a little bit here to get the ball away. And then the end of shot comes in. But Tank makes a comfortable save. So we're inside the last 10 minutes now. Who's going to take this game? It's incredibly tight. Newbyport 
playing really well. Here goes Forest Aid on the right, creating an opportunity and forces a throw in. So now with six minutes to go, Cotter comes over to take the throw. Twitchell controls it, lays it back. Cotter whips the ball into the box. It's headed away. And there goes Gasparro, whips in front of the midfielder. And then with a left foot shot, amazing shot, right into the top corner. It's the second goal for Newbyport. And it's freshman Sean Gasparro with the goal. Just watch this sheer determination on the, on the part of Gasparro. Gets ahead of the ahead of the midfielder and then gets there again with his left foot and scoops it right over the six foot five inch goalkeeper who could only just watch it as it bounces in off the crossbar over the line. Jubilant scenes. Gasparo's first ever goal for Newport Varsity. And can you believe it? It's happened with six minutes to go in the quarter final of the state championships. An incredible story. And no more than Newbyport deserved for all of the pressure and their incredible performance in this second half. But they've still got six minutes to go. So can they hold out here? Pembroke pump the ball forward. No time now for pretty football. It's going to be all hands on deck. Clear the ball away. And there we go again. McDermott clears it away. And then Acton smashes it clear. Pembroke dangerous on throw-ins with these long throws. Now we're inside the last five minutes. Long throw into the box, Flick, flicked away for a corner. So lots of pressure now on the new Newport goal. Here comes the corner into the box. It's up to the far post. It bounces around and Tank dives onto the ball before the Pembroke players could get there. So we're into the last few minutes here. Another free kick on the left hand side. Into the box, flicked on. Newbyport trying to clear it away and the shot comes in but it's harmless and over the bar. And that could be the last chance but maybe they've got a chance for one more long throw into the box here. It's flicked on and Tank catches the ball again. The goalkeeper's up for this one and Tank resists the temptation to try and score from his own penalty area. And he clears the ball away and who's chasing the ball up the field? Sean Gasparo racing up the field to try and get to the ball first. And the referee blows the final whistle. And Newbyport have done it. For the first time in the school's history, they've made the final four. Another incredible comeback win against the number one seeds this time, Pembroke. And the whole crowd goes crazy. And Pembroke players desperately disappointed. But they can't argue this was a deserved win for the Newbyport Clippers. And what a hero, Sean Gasparo, the freshman, came off the bench had an incredible game and scores the winning goal with six minutes to go. And here's confirmation of the result. Newbyport Clippers winning two goals to one thanks to goals from Twitchell and Sean Gasparo. And after the game, our roving reporter Paul Aquaviva managed to catch up with the heroes from the Newbyport team. We are here with three stars of the game, Luke, Callan and Kalen. All right, let's start with the, uh, the first goal. Let's get us started here. Luke. Set us up. Yeah, so just like always, Sean's doing a great job. Gets to about the 45, gets fouled. Uh, I rolled out, we're down one nothing. Uh, hit in the box, and luckily it hits his big head and goes in the back of the net. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kalen, that was a sweet shot. T tell us what you saw there. Uh, I mean, Luke just as always kind of whips to the back post and people kind of underestimate it and it flew over everybody right onto my head. Yeah, yeah. so you got, uh, this is an explosive offense. You pretty much shut them down. They got the one ball, call on the bot, got the one call with the uh, handball, but other than that, pretty much shut them down. Yeah. What do you have to say about that? Um, we've kind of been sticking to the same game plan. Luke and I kind of play like sopper sweeper, and it works really well for us. Um, you know, Luke was locking that kid up with like D1 striker or something like that. He doesn't care. Um, <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, no, an unfortunate goal. We can fix that just following our runs a little bit more. But other than that, I don't really think they had a great chance. All of the outside backs played well, great, uh, really well. And Jamie hopping in at the end was huge. Played a great job, Mark. Number 11. Yeah, very good. All right, boys. Two more to go. Two more to go. Got jobs like that. Good job. All right, here with the three center midfield is Sean, Adam, and Henry. You guys played a great game. You dominated the middle, I thought, today. Tell us what happened out there. 
Uh, just, we knew they were going to be good, so we had to get out to kind of, and we knew their personnel was good, so just be physical, kind of go, was our game plan going in. Yeah, yeah. I took over there. Yeah. And uh, Sean, let's, what happened on that goal here? How'd that guess? Do you remember what happened there? Honestly, I remember the celebration better than I <laughs> But it just dropped like around the top of the 18. And I I don't know how I hit it on my with my left, it kinda hit like the top. And it went top right, bar down. It was actually it was unreal. <laughs> it's such an unreal feeling. Last like five minutes too. I slid like twenty yards. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Now Adam, I, I saw that you switched it out around the end there, you put you up top. What was going on there? Um I think since Rosa was kind of hurting uh, and Sean was obviously playing well, he put me up top just to keep pressure on their backs, stood in the press, um, close out their pass lane, stuff like that, and obviously it worked. So. Henry, I think you won almost every ball in the midfield, uh, bringing those balls down. Uh, you must have been frustrating them. What, what, how was that battle going in there? Uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, I mean, coming into it, we knew they had a good midfield, um, some good players in there, and we just, like all three of us, knew we had to commit to defending, and that's what we did. Sure. All right. Well, you've been getting done all year, and you got it done when it mattered. Thanks, boys. Good job. And here's the hero of the day, leaving the field. Incredible day for Sean Gasparro, the freshman. Not only did he score the winning goal, but he was absolutely outstanding in the field and really turned the game venue before in the first half when they were up against it. So really fantastic. And here are the winning coaches, Coach Blue, taking the applause of the crowd. First time in Newport's history they've ever made it to the final four. Fantastic job from Coach Blue there. And also his assistants, Matt Salazzo and Ben Lang. So we're not done. The final four. And we're going to be playing against Stoneham, who actually beat Linfield 4-3 in overtime. The other semi-final is going to be between Dedham and Belchertown, seeds 2 and 3. So this Newbyport boys soccer team starting to make the headlines for all the right reasons, advancing to the final four with this incredible come from behind victory over number one seed Pembroke. So the semi-final is on Tuesday, November the 15th at 7pm versus Stoneham Spartans at the Manning Field in Lynn. And I'll leave you with these fantastic pictures of a wonderful rainy night victory over Pembroke that will be remembered for years to come thanks to a winning goal from Sean Gasparo. This kid's gonna go far. You heard it here first. Go Clippers!